We are in the Congo at Kinshasa and a very short flight today. I'm going to also probably do some low speed maneuvering because the legs are so short. So we'll see how we go. Taking off from runway 24 at 16.50, that's 10 to 5 in the afternoon. Let's go. Forty knots, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, one hundred, rotating six degrees, positive rate of climb, and flaps up. And as soon as I get to maneuvering speed, two hundred knots, which is coming up, I'm going to slow down because. Uh, only four miles to the first turn point. Mike India Golf 1. Shasa Tower, Mike India Golf 007, continue for west departure. So I'm at 1500 feet now. So let's do uh, the route at this altitude, see what it looks like. Right now, I've got to come a bit more north. I'm sure I'll do that. Okay, I'm going pretty slow. Congo River. Excellent. Right, get my trim sorted out at this low speed and I'll slow down even more. Mike India Golf 1. And there is our first turn point. We're going to get the uh, going to get the GoPro camera out. There we go. So it's the uh, financial centre, the Exchequer. And Echangeur de Kinshasa. Very bad French, but something like that. Apologies for that. I'm going to snap of that. Very nice, very distinctive building, so easy to see, um, and that's what we want. Now, turning right, looking for a golf course, afternoon sun here. So, we're heading about 310, a little bit left to track, and I'll come right. There's something interesting I found on the way up here is just to the right there an old airfield. I'm just going to detour right to have a look at it. Looks like it's been decommissioned or maybe it's not built yet. Just past this playing field you'll see a runway, taxiway, some buildings, so probably good for a grass strip, bush aircraft, that type of thing. A bit bumpy for this aircraft, that's for sure. But there you go, that's interesting. Let's see if I can get a wingtip shot of it as well. There we go. Yeah, interesting. Okay, back to our mission. So we're coming around the, the top of Kinshasa. As usual on the first flight, I just try to hit the uh, turn points. Subsequent flights do a bit more sightseeing. Uh, so here's the golf course coming up. A big water feature in the middle of it. Very nice. Excellent. Now, pretty much stay on this heading. Yeah, there's a good shot. Nice. Head pretty much to the next point we can see out there. Across the small bay. And we'll see... Uh, back to the airport, back to the south. And we're going to see... Uh, I'm not even going to pronounce it, I'll just mangle it, but it's a, I take it as a kind of luxury shopping complex. And that's the Republic of Congo across the river there, which we'll visit on another uh, leg of the trip. So I'm about five miles out from the shopping centre. Have a look to the south. 
Now from, from this point you can actually see all the points in our flight plan, it's, it's that close. Look at those gorgeous uh, grounds down there. Excellent. Gonna swing right a little bit. Being careful not to stray across the border which runs up the middle of the river there. And two miles out and I can see it come right a bit higher. Here it is, yeah. luxury, luxury handbags, uh, digital watches, all that fancy stuff will be available right there. Pretty easy to see, that's a good, good turn point. Now a very hard turn when we're going to university. So we got our money from the bank, played some golf, bought some handbags and watches, duty free liqueur or whatever is your poison and now we're going to learn something. So I found this wonderful university complex on top of this ridge. Uh, it's about six miles out. So it wouldn't be not the first ridge, the second one. And it's uh, got wonderful expansive grounds and yeah, it's a great feature to navigate by. Have a look to the south while we're flying. Lots of rugged terrain outside town. I did look at Livingston Falls, uh, historically important, but um, I think the water level's a bit low at the moment. So there wasn't really anything worth seeing there from the air, just in case you're wondering. And I do that with all these trips. Um, I look at the historical points first and if they don't look really great from an aeroplane um, I say yeah you can see them on a bus trip but we're flying today so now I did say it's on the second ridge of course it turns out it's on the third ridge this is probably the tallest ridge in town the one we're over right now and yep because we're at 2300 feet to clear that and look straight ahead I'm going to keep to the left a bit so we can turn right and fly along the full length of the university which is about two miles out now well my waypoint is but we're going to hit the near end of it before that it's coming up turning right here it is As I said, it's quite an expansive complex. Lovely hilltop location, large grounds, generous buildings, and a playing field at the far end. And it's catching the afternoon light very nicely. So there it is. Fantastic. And now, now, east, back to the airport. It's quite a turn. Be careful at low speed. And there we go, back on course, heading about uh, zero 07. Nice. Now, it was a rather late afternoon when we arrived here in the special stealth painted C5 Galaxy that I used to carry around my two Mackie jets. Um, so I will take another flight early in the morning so we can get a real good look at the uh, brilliant colours. And of course you could always get in a float plane and uh, take a dip on the river up there and I hear there are a lot of new flat planes available recently in the uh, 
in our matrix, our beloved matrix, so uh, check them out. Excellent, I better talk to the tower, I think. Channel 2. Channel 1. Mike India Golf 3. Shasa Tower, Mike India Golf 007 is 4 miles west, 2,000 feet with Yankee to land. Mike and Gear Golf 1. Left traffic runway 24007. Cool, so we're landing back to the west again. So I keep the runway on the left. Uh, I think I'll swing out, I reckon, uh, for my purposes, about double the distance of that road should be suitable. Now I'm coming in very slow, so it should be a short approach. I think I'll turn uh, just past that forest up ahead. Mike can give off one. Okay, so it wasn't so much a forest as a shadow from uh, clouds. Alright, anyway, gear down. Uh, flaps down, full. Turning to final. Beautiful uh, afternoon sunlight there. Pretty high actually. Shall we scrub off a bit of speed? Gears down, I've got three greens. Gears down, flaps, flaps down. Runway's on a bit of a rise actually, it's interesting. Oh, we have to watch that. And of course, <laughs> I'm aiming. I'm aiming rather short. I was just fixated on that uh, sandy-looking approach, but yeah, like half a mile away from the actual threshold. Right, pay attention. Okay, coming down now. Nice and easy. Easy peasy. And touched out at 101, which uh, is okay. It's a little bit rough there, but uh, it's been one of those days. That's why it's such a late flight today. We had all kinds of technical problems this morning. Anyway, I'll, before we fly out tomorrow morning, I'll do another early morning flight, just a quick one. Probably high altitude and maybe low. Just to show some contrasting colours. Okay, I'll see you then.